Back in Wisconsin, the Beloit City Council approved a new city logo at its meeting earlier this week, but not everyone in the community is happy with that decision. Our Rock County reporter Jenna Middaw has more. Well, this arch over one of the entrances into Riverside Park is the inspiration behind Beloit's new city logo. But many community members say it doesn't fully encompass what Beloit stands for. It should speak a story about Beloit. Right now, Beloit has several different logos that are being used around town. We have the traditional flying bee logo, and then we also have Beloit written in italics, too. So they want to try to get us to have one traditional logo that everybody can identify with as Beloit. The city spent $20,000 to design a new logo, which the city council approved Monday. But many in the community, like Tracy Bliss, are not happy with the new design. The new logo, when I saw it, I just did not think it represented Beloit well at all. It says nothing about our history or the diversity within the city. Bliss is a graphic designer and started playing around with the approved new logo to see what she could modify. At the city council meeting Monday, she offered to work with the design company and also come up with six new designs on her own. The community is known for always coming together. So I just feel like the logo, there's so much more potential that maybe a local artist could portray in a new logo. When we talk about the face of the Beloit, and it's going to be decades and decades till we discuss changing this logo again, I, I see that as a pretty big deal because, you know, I don't want us to have something that we dislike because we just want to get it done. Tracy Bliss says she'll present her new city logo ideas at the council meeting on June 5th. In Beloit, Jenna Middaw, WISC News 3. The city also tried to change the logo back in 2014. Beloit spent about $95,000 to design that logo, but the city council did not approve it.